what's up guys it's zed and this is episode 16 of the fifa 22 player career mode with conrad dan we have 15 goals in 11 matches and we've made five assists that is pretty good for a for an 18 year old striker i think we're going to be going past our birthday in this episode and acts and this is also going to be a really short episode because of the time that i have to record this video but i mean if you guys do enjoy these videos make sure to hit that like button also to subscribe to the channel also share the videos comment on what you guys want to see and what you like about these videos and uh, let's get into it i'm going to sim past the two international friendlies because i don't think that friendlies um add to the what's it called i don't think friendlies add to the goals that are recorded in that place over here yeah it actually wasn't recorded because I mean, unless I didn't play in those matches, then it didn't go up to 13 matches instead of, um, what's it called, 11 matches. Alright, the first match is against Cone. I said I was going to be um, simming through this match, and let's see what we are going to be able to do here. We do not get to go, but we do get to win. Our next match is against Locomotive Moscow. They are currently second, sitting under Liverpool, and we are fourth position with zero points. <laughs> And to be honest, I actually do not even know what Dortmund can do in this match. I mean, it's Lokomotiv Moscow. There shouldn't really be any problem winning this match. Because if we do not, then there's going to be a big problem in getting into the knockout stages of Champions League. Alright, so we will be playing this match. I just have to change the... Oh, no. no the, the kits are quite good. So I'm going to play, like, controlling the whole team for this match. Because I really do not want us to... Uh, What's it called? I really don't want the team to fuck up in this match because that would just be bad if we are on zero points and two teams are over six points. I mean, there will still be a chance for us to um, get third and play in the Europa League, and there also would be a chance for us to uh, get second and go into the knockout if that happens. But I mean, we, we really actually can't take any chances. So. This match is actually a really, really important one, and it's one that we cannot lose at all. Alright, so our match objectives are to get a 9.0 match rating, um, 5 passes in the opponent house, and have a dribble success rate of 50. This is what I'm going to enhance to 60 because it's the easiest one so far. And, well, let's see what we can do if we are not just controlling our player alone. And I actually feel like I should have changed the, I feel like I should have changed the, um, what's it called? The jerseys to some, what? What was that? What was that about? Whatever, I feel like I should have changed the jerseys to something that, that would have made me, made it easier for me to play this match. Because I, it's actually, it's not clashing, but it's just really confusing. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys after this match is over. It has gone over the top. Sergio Roberto. Oh, big opportunity. Must score. In it goes. That will do nicely for starters. First goal of the game. Well, here it is again. The through ball is absolutely inch perfect, and his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head smash it as hard as possible. He continues his run at deep delivery. He's gone and found the net! Brilliant piece of finishing! Magnificent goal! Well, here it is again, and what a perfect cross into the box this is. Just inviting someone to attack it, and the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. And the break looks on. Can they take advantage of the situation? No, oh, it's in. We cannot declare this contest over. They still believe. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace on the counter-attack. They were so quick to break it. Superbly read and executed. 
This looks threatening. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. Conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Will they profit from this situation? Opportunity! Oh, it's a penalty in the opinion of the referee. And maybe they'll be able to level this up. So to make it 2-1. And it's a goal! Accurate from the spot. Well, back underway here. And they've split the four goals between them. To be so able far. to change your mind. But he wasn't able to, and that's a poor pass. Well, a really single-minded piece of defending to make. Wonderful chance! And it's in! They're back in front! Stunning scenes here! Well, as you can see, he hits this with so much power. But just look at the follow-through. So athletic. That's a dynamic strike. Well, a successful player is always going to be linked with other clubs. Oh, Derek, can he finish this? He saved it. Well, excellent from the keeper. That's a really top class save. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. A chance for him to get in behind, maybe. And a goal to seal the hat-trick. A master class in finishing. Just can't stop him today. Well, here it is again. What a ball that is over the top of the defence. It's weighted perfectly, and what a great finish it is. Struck with power and accuracy, certainly not. Kamano, and showing fine vision. And that's a corner. Dinov, determined defending. And the referee blows his whistle. With All right, so that is the first match of this episode done, and we have won it. We got the hat trick. We're so close to getting a fourth goal, but we weren't able to do that. But we're happy with our hat trick. We're happy with our man of the match award. I think we got that. But still, it's really a good match, and it's a good thing that we are able to at least get a foothold in this um, year's Champions League group stage. All right, so we are currently third, and. We are on three points as well as AS Monaco. So I think I'm just going to be playing with the full team when it comes to Champions League matches. So at least we can actually do something and get into the the um, round of 16. Like I said, I want to um, finish this episode real quick. So I'm going to same part this match against Mainz and this cup match against Augsburg. And then we'll play this one and that's where we'll end the episode. All right, so I'm going to same the match against Mainz. We are actually low on stamina a bit so i really shouldn't have even played that much but we do get the we do get a goal in the 84th minute that is really really good so are we going to be able to get um the manager match rating and no we do not we get the goal but we do not get um the manager's match rating so i mean that doesn't really matter it's one goal added to our many goals that we have scored all right so we are now at level 23 and i think i said i wanted to get this one the last time we got a a, a level up so i'm just going to get all three of these and then our last skill points we should be able to use it for none of these actually no oh, oh we can get our dribbling up to 80 86 so that is good we spent this um level up on the dribbling alone so we are now an 85 rated striker that is really really good and we are just 18 year old we're just an 18 year old all right, so we're going to be simming past this match as well. And let's see what we're going to be able to pull off. We do get the goal as well as Emery Chan. And we have won um, the first match of the, what's it called? I think that was DFB Pokal, if I'm not mistaken. We also did get the man of the match as you guys saw there. But I um, simmed past it really quick because I saw that we weren't able to get the match rating. As a matter of fact, our birthday has passed. That means we actually got our birthday goal in the match that we played before. So this is going to be the last match of the episode. And, well, let's see what we can do. We're now on 26 goal contributions in 15 games. And that is really, really, really good for a 19-year-old striker. Then this will be the last match of the episode. And let's hope we can actually come, up, come out with the win. Because we haven't really been winning 
our matches lately and it's been getting really annoying i mean we won the past three that we played we played the what the champions league one and then we seen the other so let's hope we can actually get a win in this match the cameras are fixed to one man in a rich vein. and we are the bundesliga top goal scorer i mean you wouldn't really expect anyone else to be the top scorer in the Bundesliga besides Konrad Zahn, to be honest. Because he was even the top scorer the last time he was here. That was like the last... That was two seasons ago. Wow, time actually really flies. That means I was 16 when I started. Or 17, rather. Yeah, it means I was 17 when I started. Okay, so what are the match objectives for this match? 9.0 match rating. Okay, get conversion rate of at least 70% and avoid winning or losing the match that's the one i'm going to enhance because it's the one i really do not think i'm going to fail so i'll talk to you guys after this match is over well the top rated attack in the league belongs to Borussia dortmund it is official stewart they... oh derek there's a chance here and a goal it is no long wait for the opener today well here it is again it was a good finish but the keeper has to do better at his near post he was beaten far too easily on that occasion and dispossessed lovely ball over the top oh this is looking promising this could square the game and that's exactly what has transpired now that could be a massive turning point and momentum is with them. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace and transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, but when he shoots, I expect him to go across the goalkeeper. He should never beat the goalkeeper inside that near post. That's not good keeping. passing can they take the lead and still an opportunity full credit wonderful stop oh chance taken there is opportunism for you but a disappointed goalkeeper well here's the replay and this is what you're always told as a kid go for the far post Naziri Haidara Zan Chan. A lovely incisive pass and what a magical save it was decisively he's in behind and it's a double for him in this game no way for the opposition to contain him and no wonder he's off celebrating Well, here we can see it again, and the passing and movement is a joy to watch. And his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. Smash it. Promising attack, this. And in with a real chance. Will this corner bear fruit for them? Now, sending it in. Not too fussy in clearing his lines. Effective looking pass and pull back. Will he finish? And how well the keeper did. Well, that's just exceptional. He reacted so quickly there. Two substitutes on at once for Borussia Dortmund. Is this the moment? Splendid defending. Oh, a lovely ball. Can he give them the lead? And a fantastic diving save. Well, it's just about a case of wall-to-wall -wall football live with us here on EA TV. And Stuart and I will be oh, with you. Oh, can he you. finish it here, Derek? And the keeper stretching to deny him. Well, that was our last chance to get a goal contribution in this match but i'm really happy we're able to get uh two goals our conversion rate was shit 
we play 60 minutes and we got five shots on target our match rate is 9.4 so i think we're able to get uh two out of the three objectives that is if these guys do not go on ahead and lose this match they don't we actually still keep it at uh what's it called two two so we scored two goals in this match from up yeah yeah two goals and well that is really good actually so i'm really happy with this episode because i don't think we lost a match in this episode though although we drew it was in this match we played against AS, AS monaco sorry this episode i can't remember I, I i actually forget things they lost funny enough if you guys haven't noticed so sorry about that but yeah this is the end of the episode if you guys did enjoy it make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in the next video peace